Right now the winter is doing a lot of damage to our roads, so in the springtime we're going to see some of these. Now, of course, roadwork signs don't fix our roads. They just grab our attention and say, hey, there's some work being done right in this area that you need to know about. And that leads us to our reading for today from John 20, verse 30 and 31. And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing, you may have life in his name. Now, in the springtime, these road signs are not going to be the main event. And in the same way, when Jesus walked and talked on this earth, his miracles were not the main event either. His miracles were just signs that drew the people in and got their attention, so that they would say, could this man from Nazareth really be the Messiah, the promised Savior that the Bible told us was coming thousands of years ago? And then they would pay attention, and they might see that, yes, some important work was happening right there among them. God was at work. Now, in the springtime, after road work season gets all finished, our roads should look a little bit better. But when Jesus was done with his perfect life, his suffering in our place on the cross, and his rising from the dead, then the road to heaven was paved, perfectly flat and smooth. And through this simple message that your sins have been paid for by the Messiah, you are invited to walk on this road. But these are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing, you may have life in his name.